Good evening, everybody. I hope you're all well today. We've got some of our lovely watchers coming in already. It's great to see you all. Okay, so your favourite show where you all get to have that say, let it all out, let's shout about it. Okay, so uh, tonight, Power Punch. So I think you can all guess what we are going to be discussing this evening. All the things that are going on lately in the field that are boiling everybody's piss. Wouldn't you agree, CJ? Oh, I think the kettle's over boiling, to be quite honest with you, to be truthful. <laughs> oh, awful lot's going on. Awful oh, lot's going on, isn't it? So much is going on. So, guys, look, you see our ticker at the bottom of the screen. So please try to be as respectful as you can. Uh, yes, you guys can swear if you come on the show. Got no problem with that. Let's just get it all out um, and work on it all together. But also, so, just, just, just to, to add as well, whatever your views are tonight are your views, okay? Absolutely. Try to be a little bit um, curtsy. <laughs> I know there's probably people that are going to come on or want to name, be careful what you say. Uh, we're going to give you your opportunity tonight yeah. to come on, have your, have your moan, have your say. Uh, get out what, what you want to get off because obviously the show is built around all the guys, you, the dead enders. So tonight, this is your show. This is your opportunity. But just remember to be respectful as much as possible. And as yep. Kelly said, if you want to swear, well, that's up to you. Oh, bloody swear if you want yeah, to. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Bloody hell. So Andy Burton's here. Hi, Andy. Hope you're okay. Hi, I'm watching from a hidden location so that solicitor's letters can't find me. <laughs> well, I doubt very much, Andy, that these solicitors' letters are uh, real, but um, yeah. let us know when you get one. We'll certainly look into it for you. So, guys, the uh, link's in the comment box right now. So if you do want to come on and have your say on anything that's boiling your piss over the past few weeks, then please do pop on. You're all entitled to opinions. So uh, if you're for or against whatever we're discussing, please come on. Uh, keep it respect as respectful as you can. Um, but we do understand that sometimes, you know, niggles get in the way. So uh, absolutely crack on and come on and say hello to us. It'd be great to have you all on. So I think the first thing I want to um, discuss, if it's all right with you, CJ. Yeah, carry on. Um, is, I, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of getting that feeling that now that the venues are now opening up to us all and we're able to slowly start getting back out there, I think we're going to see a lot of fighting going on. Um, I totally, utterly agree with you. Totally, utterly agree with you. I think there's going to be shitloads of it because people, a lot of people are pissed off during lockdown that they've followed lockdown rules, the majority. Others haven't. They've been quite aggressive when they're tattled over it. And it'll be interesting to see is when you're not sat behind the keyboard doing all this and hiding behind there where people have turned up. We've seen it happen in the past. I mean, we have seen lives where teams have been. One particular team was at uh, one time when suddenly a door burst open. We all seen it. And uh, a whole like tribe of uh, uh, another team came in. Yeah challenging and went mental and two of them had to leg it and the one guy had to stand there we yeah. we have seen it and it's 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 happening all the time and it's starting to be a thing and i do believe i agree i think um para punch you know there's going to be some confrontations and many teams are actually going to the same bloody location yeah now other they live together Oh, they live locally to one another, but they all seem to end up going to the same location. And then you get one team in there, another team arrive. And, yeah, I, I actually do think that before long, mm. we're going to actually see a, a, a real confrontation. I mean, yeah. I've been angered throughout the, um, the, the COVID and the lockdowns. Uh, at One or two people myself, which I've actually said to myself, I'd love love to mm. turn up to their face see if you're going to speak to me like you've spoken to me before but let's mm. do it face to face mm. because that's that's the way i like doing it not not on here i'd like to look in somebody's eye because then you suddenly see the bulls go from grapefruits down to tiny little great pips yeah 
grapes because you, you you're confronting them and i think it's going to happen and there's a lot of people who are annoyed <laughs> and have got a lot of um issues there that yeah. want it addressed and don't like being called liars don't like being called bullies or trolls yeah. i mean yeah, God I have knows to agree that. With you. how many times have we been called a drama page a drama <sighs> page i wish we was god we, we only yeah, we only report on what is happening within the paranormal itself. Oh, absolutely. You know? So, you know, well, that's my view anyway. Absolutely. Well, we've got Steve waiting um, in the green room to come on. So before um, we introduce Steve on so he can have his say, um, yeah, I, I, I fully agree with that, actually. Mm. Um, I think there is going to be um, a lot more to come, and I think it's going to get a little bit worse before we start seeing it get slightly better. Um, and I agree as well. I'm I'm absolutely sick of seeing people in uh, blights, um, in dead ends, on certain teen groups being called bolt bullies and trolls. I, yep. oh, I honestly don't understand the maturity levels of some people. I really don't. It's called an opinion, um, yep. and it's called an opinion for a reason. And then when you get these followers of other groups going into these type of pages, please don't come onto these type of pages and say where's your videos i mean it's absolutely stupid you know there's no videos for example yeah. blights there's no bloody videos okay <laughs> you know what the group's about you read a description who the hell joins a group without reading the description for christ's mm. sake come on well nobody nobody ever does read the description of a group it's, it's um, ridiculous. And, but i agree with um using blights if i may use blights as an example mm -hmm. i mean i was on the a day looking through and thinking what the hell is going on why you know you've got you know some groups saying they've got spies in some group we know we've got people that have joined dead ends from teams that we've uh featured on our show a couple of times yeah. and you know the way that i look at it if you're featured on here dead ends that means you've done something to feature on dead ends yeah, and absolutely. not only that, you've put it public. So yeah. it's not copyright theft. It's not anything um, like, oh, we're going to get the law on you because you're, or get you shut down like we have had. Uh, oh, we're going to get you shut down. Well, it's strange because I've tried to contact Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, I'm still waiting for a response from them. And as soon as it does, it'll go straight up there because there's a few questions I want to ask to Facebook about groups like this and uh, paranormal groups, mm -hmm. whether uh, at the end of the day, you know, do we have a right to have an opinion and a view on Facebook? And if you read the community standards, you do have a right to challenge. Yeah. You do have a right to have a voice. And all this bullying that we are going to get you shut down, it has to fucking stop because enough yeah. is enough. Sorry, Jesus I swore. Christ. Because oh. it, it, it's, it's annoying to me. It really, it is, really annoying. is. It really is. You know, it's a, a massively boiled piss, especially when you're listening to someone saying, I'm going to get my Facebook manager to yeah. shut your page down. I mean, get off your high horse. Can I, can, I, can I just say something about that? Because yeah. if you go and do it right now, if you Google, facebook manager right then maybe some of the dead ends could do this and mm -hmm. actually come on and tell us what comes up in their search it's a business manager's page i don't yeah. think it's an actual person it's an app that facebook gives uh people that runs the businesses so i really don't understand where we've got these personal facebook managers from i really I, i'd love to i'd love to have one come on here yeah to be quite 100%. honest with it 100 percent. i'd like to see that too right well, i've ranted enough <laughs> right let's well. uh, oh let's get uh steve on then and see what's boiling steve's piss today so three two one hey steve oh look out you he is troublemaker <laughs> oh i would use that terrible whistle at the minute <laughs> Uh, so what's boiling your piss today, mate? Well, I did away on my Facebook page for a few weeks. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been back on it literally from yesterday. Mm -hmm. And you see some complete fucking bell end uh, playing the Billy Big Balls in the paranormal field again. Uh, and you know what? Instantly, I mean, I joined Paranormal Boys. 
Yeah. And all you see is complaining at a bullshit over it. Oh, somebody's yeah. doing this or somebody's doing that. And it's like, you know what? There's people actually, I mean, I've already caught somebody today. I've got a screenshot up. There's somebody carrying stories back and forward. You've yeah, this yeah I've back. seen that. Oh, yeah, I I've have seen spies that. in all your pages. What? I mean, this guy's what, 50? What kind of sad bastard at 50 year old has spies in people's Facebook pages? <laughs> Yeah, I see that. I, I did James comment Bond. on your on your thing. Yeah, I commented on your on your post because right. I thought, "What's you've just been caught out, madam? Thank you very much." Yeah. It's, 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 to me, I mean, I, I've said this repeatedly, and I think I've said it on your show in the past. Mm -hmm. There is people bullshitting and carrying stories back and forward. Yeah. And until that okay. starts, right now the paranormal field is embarrassing. It's at a powder keg, and it's going to lead to someday. It's going to lead to fisticuffs. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's yeah, going yeah, to, it's, yeah. Because I'll tell you something. See if he spoke to me personally the way that he has dealt and spoke to other people. I would be one of the guys that would go to his fucking live and I'd ask him, what's your fucking yeah. problem? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but the trouble yeah. is when you go on to the live and ask a question that yeah. doesn't fit their narrative, huh? you're blocked. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's you're blocked. Because block. I've already blocked them. But you're either you're blocked, you're ridiculed, or you're just totally ignored. I mean, all right, we've had some people that have come on to dead ends, which, you know, I've said to Kelly, you know, just get rid of them, block them, because they've come on, and what they do is attack other dead enders that have come on to have their say. But they've only done it to do that, so they'll get, they'll get kicked off. They, they can still see. Yeah. They can still come up and see what's being said, the shows. It's just that they can't comment. And, yeah. you know, that's the beauty yeah, of it, really, at the end of the day. Yeah, well, you know what? It's, it's like yeah. taking a look. Taking a, I mean, all you've got to do, I and mean, I've been back on Facebook two days. Yeah. And every time you see anything, there's paranormal and drama linked. It's one guy's name. It's constant yeah. fucking through it. Yeah. There's one common denominator, and it's him. And see the other teams, and, I mean, you know what? It's, they don't really speak to me much anyway, but see the other guys that are linked in them. I mean, he was mouthing off. I mean, I watched that video. I thought it was hilarious. Oh, yes, yeah. I have the backing yeah. of this team and that team. Mm. See the personal advice I've got for those two teams that he mentioned? Stay the fuck away from them. Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm, I'm a big name in the paranormal. Are you? I've never heard you. I've been doing this for eight years, and I didn't hear about you until fucking six weeks ago. Mm. You're a really yeah. big name, mate. I know a lot oh, of people. Right. I've worked with a lot of teams. You know what I mean. I'd, I'd never yeah. fucking heard of him until six weeks ago. He's fucking mm -hmm. deluded. He's an absolute fucking idiot. Well, they, you know, I think I, without saying who it is, I mean, I think people know who we're referring to there. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I wonder whether it's just done for drama. For the likes, for the yeah. comments going on and stuff. You know, at the end of the day, I don't really care. I, I, I don't follow these teams. Um, now and again, we are inundated with our dead enders. They come forward, they say, Have you seen such and such? Have you seen that? You know, we have always said that this show is about the people within the paranormal. They yeah. can come up and they dictate to us how it goes. And we have got some quite revealing shows planned to come up uh exposés if you want to call them that yeah but at the end of the day we're inundated all the time you can't get away from it have you seen this yeah. that's been said on youtube have you seen this what has been posted yeah. uh then you get the supporters and the stuff and we encourage it we we're fine but mm -hmm. i don't personally follow any of these groups or any of this entertainment if i go to uh to investigate i go to investigate i mean i'm not being funny i've been on tv i've done tv stuff uh you don't hear me going out there going nuts that oh you know i come see me watch me on watch me call it i just still look at it as an investigation and a bit of fun to myself and yeah. i like to see the other side you know so i don't you know i've never used that i never will use that i am who i am cj the main thing that annoyed me time. was you've you've got the but the, the Yes, this page, this page is billing me. Everybody on that, nobody knows anything mm. about the paranormal. Yes, I uh, fucking do. I've been doing it for eight years. I've built yeah. up a reputation. I've been invited on events. I know stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, just because he, it, it's fucking bugging. And then you've got the wee assholes and the wee bitches that run back. Oh, look at this. Look what they're saying. 
I'll put up a one. Think... I've been doing Think this for eight years. I've got doing screenshot of that and fuck you. Yeah. They yeah, come they on and they're all like using all these excuses. Oh, I, you know, I, I've only just recently started following them. And, mm. oh, where's the videos? And you just think, oh, do you know what? It's so obvious what you're all here for. Like, if you don't like listening to it, just go away but, then. Like, don't listen yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. commented today, I don't, I, I don't know what this is, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Five minutes working on these pages here. Oh, you know what? All the comments are better than you in that page. Oh, it's like fucking yeah. bad. I, I mean, I would admit, right, I did actually go and look at each page of the, just to see. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's fucking embarrassing. It's, I'll, I'll not be watching it again. It's, I mean, you've yeah. got, me personally, you know, if, if you've got a, and, you know what, get yourself yeah. something, I don't care. See if you're putting videos on going, I'm going to possess. Sorry, it's how did you go, Steve? Can you, can you just replay that, please? How did it go? Going, you know, you just look like a fucking bell, and you don't, you don't possess. You just look like a fucking asshole. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's, there's, but there's no cure for stupidity. But that that sells, though, doesn't it? Do yeah, you know what I mean? That that's, sells. That, that's, that's what sells to his, his customers as such. See if I was paying three pound fifty or three forty nine, whatever it is, that a month to subscribe to that shit, I would want it back. I mean, with no disrespect to teams that do do this Patreon or where no, you subscribe to, if they, if if that's their, their their groove, then that's fine. But I certainly, I, I'm not one of these people that would uh, pay money to watch somebody, not unless they're extremely oh. good. And yeah, I, when yeah. I say good, I'm talking what they're saying makes sense, common sense. You know, uh, I would I wouldn't pay towards it. Unless I no. see it on a YouTube or whatever, I never would do it. But there are thousands and thousands of people that do do that. And they're the dedicated followers of these groups, these teams, these followers. And, you know, they don't understand from our perspective why we are not moaning but are challenging certain things. Because there was a... Something that you placed up, Kelly, about a local council uh, wouldn't mm -hmm. allow a, a team to go into ghost hunt. And yeah. when I read the article, yeah, uh, what I've seen uh, that was said by the councillors in there, mm -hmm. um, I actually like, stood back and thought, no, come on, that's not what it's about. That you know, that the, their reasoning for not allowing. Uh, a team to go in there like they're going to use ouija boards they're going to bring in nasty things. things and open yeah. up portals i i agree with the candle side of it because most teams do use a candle but i read I've it and i candle. thought candle. yeah i do but i mean at yeah. the end of the day you know because they've got that fear and there was one key element that was said in that article that i picked up and that was what we've seen on tv Mm. And I, I picked up on that in that article. Yeah. What we have seen from TV, but now nobody nobody can go in and investigate that. Uh, but at least yeah. the team did the right thing by writing to the council. They took the opportunity to write to the council to get in there to, to ask permission, you know? Yeah. A lot more than what other people have done by just going into empty abandoned buildings and say, oh, Absolutely. So we got permission to be here because we uh, we filmed for Amazon Prime. Yeah, right. <laughs> See Amazon Prime. A anybody in the dog can film for Amazon Prime if they really want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I suppose it's a bit like YouTube, isn't it? Hmm? So anybody I, can. It's the same that. as well. I mean, I know I'm going to. I'm, I, I'm not naming his name, but yes, I'm a paranormal author. I have four books on Amazon. No, you've not. You've fucking published them yourself. Yeah. It's like, no, yeah. you've not. You don't have four books on Amazon. You've put them up yourself to rip people off. So uh, it's, okay. I mean, it's, I'm in my high horse a wee bit tonight. The, part, the paranormal <laughs> thing is, is embarrassing at the minute. It really yeah. is. Yeah. It really is. Um, yeah. That that is the big that that's the big thing that's coming really out is. that's coming out now. It is getting to be embarrassing, in my opinion. But there's one honest. common denominator, and it's the one guy and his fucking bulldog that causes as much shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, he's got, guard, on he's got um, security yeah. now. Well, is it security, security yeah. now with guard dogs? Yeah. Something. Well, I didn't see them the other night, though. Well, so question, quite question then. What was your take on uh, the whole police stop um, scenario? I mean, ha 
how would would you have dealt with that any differently or uh, yeah. do you think the police were out of order or what what do you think i do think one officer seemed to be out of order from the week snap that i've saw they, they did seem to be yeah. of the, the kind of the, the billy big balls policeman attitude but um right. at the end of the day though if you're still in an abandoned building you're not meant to be there just cooperate mm. Yeah. Yeah. Put your hands up and go, yes, I am not meant to be here, I am sorry, blah, 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 and explain and talk to them, don't the, the, the main thing about that, from what I got from it, they didn't know who, who was in that. No. They, 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 they could have been about 20 um, mm. uh, travellers in there, organising a mm. travellers fight for all they would know. You don't. You just yeah. don't know. So at the end of the day, you're, you're quite right, Steve. I think just just yeah. uh, just cooperate with them. Just come out. Well, say, I do you know, think as well that see that the bullshit ac accusations and this he's, said person has put himself quite high up on a perch. Now I don't no. know him personally. No. I would. Yeah, I'm not interested in what I've, I've somebody. A few people have sent me some of the videos, and I'm, I think it's embarrassing. Some of the way yeah. he acts is embarrassing. It really is. Yeah. A grown guy acting yeah. the way he does. But you know what? See, if you're the way he's acting is it's more a case of bring it on. And uh, to me, that's what it seems like he's doing. And see, when he's going to an abandoned location, somebody's going to go to us. You know what? But this that kid and phone the police and report him. It's like mm. that's what's going to happen. But you're, he's openly inviting all this controversy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, as I say, it, it goes for the stars, it goes for the lights, it goes for the entertainment value. And when you think of it, most of these people are entertainment value, you know, and that, that that's what that's what they want to produce. Because yeah. if they were just going out investigating, you wouldn't get so many followers, would you? Because we all well, know investigating is quite boring. He doesn't know who I am, right? But I'm quite sure that he's three spies of letting him see this video. I'm, I'm quite sure I'll have a target in my back now, but you know what? I'm a big hairy ass boy. Hey, right? join the club. Join the club. Yeah. yeah, I don't care. I've, 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 let's be honest, mate, I've, I've argued with worse and bigger people than him. And he's just. Well, this, this, this is why I get annoyed when, when you get threatened with solicitor's letters and you get threatened we're going to take your book down uh your your, your page, page down or whatever yeah. uh, we we've got this at the end of it, it really rags my my bone it, oh, it, it gosh, gets yeah. to me because i think yeah. to myself well if that's the case fucking do it yeah, yeah, yeah. The letter, will you? because all i'll do is go in the toilet and wipe my ass with it because there's <laughs> this all you can do there's exactly. nothing you can do no, we're entitled to have an opinion. Look, I've yeah, got exactly. Marcus. I've got Marcus in the green room. Marcus, I know you're there. Just give us a moment, all right? And then we'll have you on. I've got one I, more point. I, okay. I, I just want to add, though, that I, I was really shocked by this whole police thing that happened. Um, and I think what I felt upset most about was that there are a group of people out there the, and the way in which they were talking about the police, yeah. I found that really disrespectful, really disrespectful. And then when, unfortunately, the investigator or, or entertainer, whatever you want to call this person, fell over, okay. um, when they joined their group, the, the person in the group said, oh, oh, did they push you over or whatever it was? And um, the answer was, no, no, no. And then as soon as the police left, that changed. They did that on purpose, made me fall over. And it was like, what? What? That's really you've got, disrespectful. You've got to be careful. Well, apparently, what you apparently say. that's on video. Yeah. So we'll have evidence. Yeah. So it's, 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 yeah. I just found that like shocking. I was like, what? You just said he, it, it didn't happen. Like you fell over, obviously. Um, and I hope you're okay. But, and yeah, then obvious. when they, when they disappear, it was them. They, they've made you fall over. And it was like, you were on a ball, you were on a roll, being all arrogant and cocky, and then, so why did you not just say, you did that on purpose? No. Why wait till the police officer left and then go, yeah, they did it? Because he loves drama. There you go. There anyway, you go. Oh, Marcus has gone now. The, the, oh. the point I've got to make, and this is, the one, and this is to do with, and to be honest, it doesn't just mean him. It could mean what, it could mean you anyone. guys, it could yeah. mean me, it could mean anybody. Yeah. anybody that, See if you're going to be stupid enough to put a comment on social media. And this is something I've learned lately. This is why I've got a new Facebook. You put silly comments or you make a comment about someone on Facebook, it's there forever. I mean, I could turn yeah. and say, yeah. it's like, 
C- CJ, he, what a bell end, and I could post CJ as a bell end, right? No, you're yeah. no, you're a good guy, so I'm just using that as an example. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 See yeah. if I co- see if I comment on a thing or oh, that's CJ from Dead End. She's an absolute bellend. Somebody screenshots it and sends it to you. That's on me for being stupid enough to post it in the first place. Yeah. yeah. See if I yeah. see if I had a problem and you wanted to call you a bellend, I would come and say, "Why, well, CJ? You're been a fucking bellend." Yeah. Mm. Somebody, you know, there's, somebody's... There's, there's too much. There's a lot of bitching and a lot of shit stirring going on, and it's fucking. Un- We're all grown ups. Somebody just, I've just seen it flash up because I've got little bubbles that come up underneath of what people are saying. And uh, yeah, it was solicitors charged by the hour. Uh, and he's not there stumbling up, but he's not stumbling it up. This is the thing. It was like when we had the incident before when we went live and there was slight like talk, people, they will get their followers and their followers will blindly yeah. pay for their mm-hmm. defense. Yeah. And that, so it doesn't come out of their pocket. Which yeah. is great, but for the average individual, like a, a Facebook group, group just like, uh, say, Blight's Paranormal for a start, oh, I hope they don't mind me using them as an example, being threatened, and those being threatened with solicitor's letters, you know, that's unfair. That's just yeah. totally and utterly unfair. Yeah. You know, if this behaviour has got to stop. It and, really has. You know, we're, we're, we're not going to stop until it does stop. No, so we're think- always going to be here. <clears throat> And I think the police absolutely didn't do anything wrong with searching the vehicle because mm-hmm. they actually thought a crime was being committed. Mm-hmm. They didn't know who was in the building. If your car had been stolen without your knowledge, because if some people don't realise their car's stolen until they wake up in the morning or whatever. I mean, they have the, the, all that that PCN check does is um, check who owns the vehicle. That, that's mm-hmm. all it does. It doesn't tell them who's driving it right now. Also, see if I, was a, see if I was a policeman and I came and said to you, Kelly, I need to search your vehicle. And you say, no, no way, you're not searching my vehicle. I'm automatically going to assume you're hiding something. Oh, yeah, exactly. True. But they do Just have to have a possible you can get nothing to hide, go for it. Yeah. You know, it's there, so I've got nothing yeah. to hide. It's, I mean, but, at the end of the day, the policeman's job is to make sure that, is that the law is held, withheld and you're abiding by the law. So if they're if the police are under any assumption that you're not, they can do whatever they want to search you. They've they've got that by their side. Yeah. But they can, I mean, they can... do you do you actually think as well that when they do a PNC check or whatever it's called on a car, and it's a car that's out of county, and it's in a different county in an abandoned building, they're not going to mm-hmm. investigate it. You know, it's going to come up that it's from a different county. Well, what's this car doing here in the middle of nowhere in an abandoned building? They're going to look at it, don't they? Come on, think of it. It doesn't take, it, you'd have to be a rocket science to, to And not only that, that, come on, seriously, there are fences all the way around the property. Yeah. Regardless of whether it's ajar or slightly open, there's fences around the property. Yeah. That screens, mm. please stay out. And yeah. the fact that you've had to enter it through an open window and not a door i mean seriously it means don't bloody go in there <laughs> yeah. right are we gonna have to see if we can get some of the other dead is there anybody else that's wanted to come on mark yeah. is in wasn't he he was but he's gone now oh, right. Um, right steve we're gonna say cheerio Bye. to you my lovely thanks for coming on right, thanks for coming on steve bye and i apologize bye. for the language oh yeah no you don't <laughs> 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 Bye. Bye. Yeah, that was really interesting, actually. It's yeah. always nice to hear everybody's views. Look, guys, if you've got uh, something you want to get off the ch- your, your chest, or whether you just don't agree yeah. with anything we're saying, absolutely, come on. Like we're open for a, a, a nice debate, so please come on in. Is, you know. is Marcus still in the chat room? He isn't. Or... I'm afraid he's he's gone off. Bless him. Uh, maybe yeah. he'll come back later. Yeah. Good. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we've got um, in the chat room. Okay, so Kaylee Hope says <clears throat> he only needs security and guard dogs for his own ego. Um, so yeah, so look, there's been another thing that I've noticed recently that's coming back to life again. So and I always like to touch on it because it's something I find absolutely bloody disrespectful in this field, and that is smoking. Uh, when uh, on investigation inside a building. What's your thoughts on that, CJ? Smoking inside. Uh, mm. I, 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 you know, I used to smoke. I don't know more. I'm more of a, a vape 
guy there yeah. and only every now and again. But I've never actually really smoked inside a venue. Uh, mm. If anything, I've always been respectful of other people who don't smoke, so I would go outside. Um, even on a in abandoned places, I, I, I would something I would not wouldn't do to be quite honest with you. Mm. And it is the most common thing that that is happening now at the moment. Absolutely. You know, so uh, no, I don't agree with it. You shouldn't be smoking, and really, it's you know, if you can't just wait until a break time mm. to have a cigarette, then you know what's wrong with you. Absolutely. So is there anything that's boiling your piss um, in the paranormal field at the moment, CJ? Uh, other, well, other than all this drama, I'm just sick of the drama. I'm just tired of it. I didn't join the paranormal to come in, you know, just to, just to listen to all this shit and all this crap, to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. I want to go out and investigate. I want to be, you know, good and nice with people. I want to get on with people. But there mm -hmm. are individuals out there that you can see that are taking advantage. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that's what I don't agree with. And yeah. if I if I want to challenge it, if I want to come up and put my opinion, then, you know, I should be able to. Clearly, I yeah. should be able to. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Callan Roberts says, sick of the drama, you're in a group that causes it, CJ. Yeah, well, and this, well, is what, no. this is what we mean. This this show is yeah. a debate show yeah. about opinions, yeah. Callum. So, that's your opinion. That's absolutely fine. But well, I've, I've, really I've, seen, I've to... actually seen this guy's name before pop up on other posts, oh. to be honest. So, he's probably one of the followers of the other group. I mean, that's your opinion, and that's fine. You know, yeah. but we don't cause drama. We just discuss about it, and we've got yeah. a right to talk. If you don't like it, fuck off. Plain and yeah. simple. There Absolutely. you go. Simple. Can't be any yeah. simpler. Go away. I just think some of these people don't really realise um, the impact of um, some of the stupid decisions that people in the paranormal can make. So. For example, when you're entering a derelict, abandoned building, which, by the way, is always owned by somebody, um, if you have an accident in there and hurt yourself, you have the right to sue the person who owns the building. Yeah. yeah. How is that fair? Just stay out of it. Don't go in there. It's not your building. You shouldn't be touching it. Stay out. Respect the person's property. Would you like it if it happened in your home? Or in a building that you just purchased? Maybe people should get together and go into different people's houses and start doing it. Yeah. You know, and then just start sit, see what see how they like it, you know? At the end of the day, you know, it's it, it's just not fair. Mm -hmm. And it is a fair, it is a fair to the owner. I mm -hmm. mean, I haven't got a problem. If you want to go and investigate an abandoned building, that's fine. But have the decency to do a little bit of homework. Find out yeah. who owns it and maybe offer the owner a couple of quid. Say, listen, we want to go in, in there. Is it possible we can? We'll pay you a couple of quid. We're not, we haven't got that much. You never know. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. you know, they might come out and say, hey, you know, yeah, feel free. Yeah. Can, you keep, can you keep an eye on it? Now, a, a, a brilliant example, an absolute shining example, in my opinion, is the George Jarvis school with mm. Spectacular and Natalie Lawrence. She's seen a location. She went mm. to the owner. They've gone in there. They've cleaned it up. They've boarded it up. They're using it. They're putting it out to the paranormal. Uh, the money's going in to keep the, the building going and towards the owner. That, you know, it's a shining example. An absolute Absolutely. shining example. And now they've gone for another second location that was being ruined. Because yep. people were breaking in, they were setting fires, they were damaging it, and they've started to, 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 to make that place ready. Again, I presume to open up to the paranormal world. Classic examples. So it can be, it can work. You don't just have to go on there and just go and say, oh, well, you know, it's in Brandon building, we don't care who owns it, we're just going to go in there. And who says it's bloody haunted in the first place? That's what I want to know. God, yes, absolutely. But, but, uh, 
the researcher side of it, you know, it doesn't yeah. matter whether it's haunted or not. They, they'll want to go in and, and just have a look. I and mean, it's good research, yeah. isn't it? But Kenny yeah. Biddle makes a really good point. Hi, Kenny. Hope you're OK. Um, discussion and questioning is an important part of investigations. Exactly. And that's all we're doing here is we're having a discussion and we're questioning it. Um, so absolutely, I agree with that that point. And, and if people don't like it, that's OK. That's all right. You're yeah. more than welcome to come on tonight and come and tell us. That's you know, fine. People, people, you know, it's OK to agree and disagree, in my mm -hmm. opinion. It really is OK to disagree. I mean, if somebody comes on, don't like what, you know, I'm saying, well, that's yep. fine. That's your opinion. Yeah. Just if you don't want to listen to it, move on. Because yep. you don't have, nobody's actually nailing your boots down yet. Yeah. You know, so you've got to stay here and listen to it unless you're running back to your little friends oh. and you're shit stirring. Well, at the end of the day, carry on. You know, we don't care, but we are not from no, from no point whatsoever. Are we going to stop? We are going to call people out if we need to call people out. Yeah. If there is a valid reason for it. Absolutely. I mean, it's not all about the, the drama. Look at the positive one we did about the podcast, the, the last podcast, mm -hmm. where we had Dr. Carl Cooper and Kev Kerr talking about online courses. Yeah, you know, so I think some not... people need to do their homework. Yeah, um, yeah, you, yeah, you've, yeah. You've jumped on on a show which you know exactly what it's about yeah. and you know exactly what we're going to talk yes. about. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you know what to expect, my lovely. Yeah. Um, OK, so Derek Green says, I've been in the paranormal for 30 years. Things have got worse. It's now all yeah. about money. It yeah. was always going to be that way, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Debbie, Debbie Rushworth. Hi, hun. Hope you're OK. I love the paranormal, but the drama is getting too much. We totally should be able to say what we like without being classed as a bully or we're obsessed or trolls. Yeah, yeah look, I am not jealous of anybody. Oh, me. At the end of the day, I've been doing this for 17 years now. Um, I'm certainly not jealous. If I was jealous, I'd have my own events company still. Yeah. I would be shouting about myself and how big I am. Um, I don't. I have a lovely team. Um, we're a small team. We love to go out. We do it as a hobby. But I can see the bigger picture, and that's what's great. I can see the bigger picture and how some actions make the paranormal field yeah. look stupidly terrible that realistically it really does so if you're coming on here and it's you think it's all right to smoke in an abandoned building and throw your cigarette butts around lit um just because you stand yeah. on them doesn't mean you put them out my love yeah. um yeah. then you know if, if that's your cup of tea then you continue to watch it okay uh, and as I've... karen blythe said we're only voicing what people are thinking yeah, exactly, exactly. And not only that, got the balls to actually come on here with our face, not like yeah. YouTube or whatever, yeah. you know, and actually uh, hide behind assumed names. You can see who's, who's challenging, you mm -hmm. know, at the end of the day. Um, but one of the other things, oh, yeah, Marcus said he's having difficulty with Safari trying to, to connect. So he is uh, trying to get on, all right? I'll he's try and use Google method. Chrome. Try and yeah. download Google Chrome and use that. It's uh, it's probably better. Drew but, Drury says, I'm worried that because we can go out now to do an investigation that maybe some venues are going to raise the cost of hire yeah. because of demand. Yeah, they might do. Right. OK, so we've got Kenny. Oh, I love Kenny. Woo. OK, three, two, one. Hey, Kenny, hey. how are you? Hey, Mr. Good. Middles in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, look out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Kenny. How you doing, no darling? Problem. I'm doing good. How are you, sweetie? <laughs> oh, I'm great. I get to adopt a cat next weekend, so I'm way excited. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I love the discussion you got going on here. Um, yeah. Yeah. A little bit of ranting. We do apologize, but <laughs> it gets very passionate at times. Yeah. But what do, you, what, what do you think about it, Ken? I mean, when you're when you're talking about challenging claims and questioning things, I mean, that's that's just part of it. That's an integral part of it. There is no progression unless you question. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm a poet. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you, you have to do that. You you have to question claims, question beliefs. Um, if you're going to put your beliefs out there or if you're going to teach and I put that in air quotes, 
Um, if you're going to teach a certain method or you're going to teach people, this is how you investigate or this is how you get good evidence. Yeah. You yeah. should expect to be questioned. And I mean, that that's called, well, informally, it's called peer review. Um, yeah. But yeah. when you do actually publish something and, and I have experience in this where you publish and it's peer reviewed or you get editors going through your stuff to make sure that you, you cross your T's and dot your yeah. I's. Yeah. Um, making sure everything's, I mean, my stuff, my, the articles I write go through a lawyer because wow. I'm, I'm naming people. I'm yeah. putting out, yeah. uh, statements where I have evidence to back it up. And, yeah. and that's much different from what we're dealing with, with most paranormal groups who have yeah. circumstantial or subjective evidence that they believe is real. And they're putting it out there and saying, this is real, or they're influencing people. When you go yeah. into a private residence, you know, how many times have you heard a group tell a, a homeowner, your place has demons? Yeah, I mean, exactly. you know what kind of psychological damage you're doing to that family? And yeah. I, I can guarantee you most, most groups that do that don't have a psychologist on their no. team. They don't have a counselor. They're going in there with their TV knowledge and saying, oh, this and that. So mm -hmm. if you want to challenge a claim... I'm all for it. I, I yeah. totally support that and, and question it. And I mean, like you were, uh, uh, you mentioned earlier about going into like an abandoned place. And if you get hurt, that, yeah. that's on you yeah. because yeah. you shouldn't have been there in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know it. That's illegal. You're, you're trespassing. So plus, plus your insurance wouldn't cover you for yeah. going into an abandoned building. So you wouldn't need to be covered by insurance by entering. No. But the trouble here in the UK is if you went in there and hurt yourself on something that was in there, the yeah. person who owns that building or the land or whatever yeah. is the one that pays the price for you entering yeah. into that property. But they're yeah. not expecting you to enter the property because they've got things in place to stop you from going in there. But these people, they just need to get in there. And for what reason? Mm. For what reason? Why, yeah. Why risk it? Yeah, exactly. That that's the whole point of what we've tried to put over. It's it's like just having learning a bit of ethics, really, to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. Common sense more than anything. But I mean, it's also end up charging. You know, it's, it's when you challenge people it really annoys me. Like when you were saying, like you know, when you were talking earlier on about you know, you you asked a question of somebody that's investigated somewhere, they may not like what you said it like it just blows up over here yeah. into huge you get get attacked you get rubbed on now i know because i've followed you for so long that mm. you yourself you've experienced this kenny haven't you which is where people have constantly do you come and still come under attack now or is it gone okay. a little bit less or yeah. is it still I mean, quite heavy on it, it goes back and forth and i apologize if my connection's bad i'm no, I'm it's at, fine. I'm no, you're fine. No, you're okay. fine. Um, so it, it's it's back and forth. Um, I used to get it a lot, and then it kind of eased up because the more that I got out there and and put myself in the sharks den, then yeah. you know, like yeah. I, I'm a goldfish yeah. and I kind of jump into a pool of sharks where I attend paranormal conferences and I I talk, you know, or I get myself on the on the panel and try to discuss things. And show people like you don't have to be an asshole about it. You can be yeah, polite, yeah, professional. Yeah. You can talk this through and bringing up questions. So I don't get it so much, but yes, I do still get um, a lot of of uh, hate or um, hate mail. Hate mail. I mean, I still yeah, get yeah. from time to time. I get hate mail that ranges from just calling me names to wishing that my family dies in a car crash. Um, you know, like I still get that kind of stuff and I still get uh, threats where it's like, oh, I know you're going to be at this conference. You know, we'll see if you leave. Oh, and they God. leave it at that. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll see if I leave. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to stop going. I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy it. And you, you really have to question. And I think on the plus side of this, is that when I do get out and I, I am able to address uh, a large group of people or just individuals at, mm -hmm. at these conferences, they're happy about the advice. They're happy about the information. They're grateful for it because 
I haven't just made it up or, or pulled it out of my butt. You know, I've researched the shit out of this and I know what I'm talking about and I can just demonstrate um, examples and, and recreate things for you. And that helps drive it home. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's a balance. You're, you're always going to yeah. get people that are off, especially when it, it's, you come across this attitude of, Oh, you know what? Go get them, go get them. But as yeah. soon as you yeah. look at their, their work, then no, 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 don't, don't yeah. pick on me, pick on somebody else. Um, yeah. I yeah. get that a lot. Yeah, yeah, we've I've had, seen, we've had seen some that. of that as well, haven't we? Not not written letters or anything like that, but no, but you've had, I've, we've had the threats and uh, oh, the name gotcha. calling and uh, the accusations and the drama that you created. We had one earlier on that just came on and just said, you know, you're part of a drama group, CJ. It's like not being funny, fuck off the page if you don't like it, part of my yeah. French, but you know, move on. We're not interested yeah. in you if, if that's what you think. Well, I what what we try to do is to get people to come on here to say that it's okay. You can say yeah. what you need to say. There's nothing wrong with challenging somebody or some group or some part of evidence. People seem to think it's a taboo. You're not allowed to do it because these big personalities, these big groups, they're there. They're like they're on you. They're, it's like oh, we're gonna put you down. Well, like with me, it's like the old RAF salute. Bring it on, bitches, because at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah. it isn't going to bother. It's just no. not going to bother me. I'd I rather think... not have nothing to do with you type of people than deal with our real dead-enders, the people that really come on here. And we have got a really good group of mm. individuals that come on. And, you know, they've all suffered. Most of them have suffered. And yet, you know, there's nowhere for them to go to voice their opinions. Yeah. When they do, they get blocked or they get attacked. So this this here, in my view, is a safe haven. They mm -hmm. can come on and they can say what they want. We'll protect them. Regardless, even if here. even if you don't agree with us, I mean yeah, come exactly. on and, and tell us. It's absolutely fine. I mean, you know, we've had we've had all sorts. Um come on the show and it's 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 not a bother it's okay we're here to listen but if you don't want to come on i can't can't force you to if you want to just pop on and leave a horrible message and then run off yeah, it, yeah. It, it's, it holds no weight and that's what i'm trying to get across that's if exactly you've got it. something to say just come on and say it. it's yeah. going to hold a lot more weight it really right. will i might learn something <laughs> i i totally agree with that i mean that's that's the way it should be if you yeah. have something to say and i mean yeah if i say something on a show or in an article or online and you have a problem with it then come talk to me you know yeah. if you come on because how many times has this happened to you where someone leaves a really nasty comment and then blocks you right away yeah yeah, yeah. you're you're wasting more you were you're wasting my time that's what it comes yeah. down to yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, exactly. that's not a discussion that's just an asshole just venting yeah. uh, steam and, and anger. Let's have a discussion. Let's talk about it. And I mean, even when I have people on my show, I don't, I don't kiss their ass. Like no. you come on as a guest, no, I've seen that. And <laughs> you can talk. <laughs> but if I disagree with you, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to yeah. tell you why. Yeah, you know, exactly. and that's, yeah. um, that's, that's the way it should be because you're challenging. You're not just challenging because challenging. I, I guess I can understand that comes off as confrontational um yeah. but yeah. that's what it is it's challenging but if you yeah. ask a question yeah. or if i don't agree with you i'm not just going to nod my head and be like oh yeah okay great let's yeah. move on to the yeah. next topic yeah. no i'm going to say no i disagree with you here's why yeah and let's yeah. continue this conversation but um, if, if, I mean, if you if you if you don't come to uh an agreement you just agree to disagree and you don't walk away in huffs you know, you should be able to be adults enough just to just say, look, well, I don't agree. We're never going to agree. But at the end of the day, that's your opinion. That's my opinion. And yeah. it's a part of the, of the waves. There's no need to have what we have been seeing and what we have been uh, had thrown at us and other groups. There's just no need for it. It's, it, it's yeah. yeah, it is bullying. It is uh being the bullies, but the bullies are always calling other people bullies at the end <laughs> yes. of the day. They yeah. always do. They're always hurt. 
they are the bullies call call the bullies and you know, you know sometimes it does get to people if, if i put something out like an article or an investigation or, or something and i'm wrong i hope that someone would come to me and tell yeah. me hey yeah. you know you made a mistake here and this is why i i want that um and i constantly do it like before i i send in an article to my editor because i go through two editors and a lawyer so before I do that, I usually send it some, to some friends and say, hey, can you read this over? Am I doing something yeah. wrong? Yeah. You know, am I too aggressive? You know, let me know. But even if it comes from outside of my circle of friends and colleague, colleagues, you know, I appreciate that. I really yeah. do. Yeah. I don't take it personally. This is yeah. this is business. Yeah. You know, this yeah. is yeah. not yeah. anything personal. If you if either of you came to me and said, hey, I read something you did and I think there's a mistake. Um, you might want to check this. I wouldn't be mad at you. I wouldn't block you. I wouldn't <laughs> cut you yeah. out and never watch yeah. the show again. Uh, it would yes, be like, uh, oh, let me go look. Uh, and I'd yeah. get back and say, yeah. you know what? You were right. Thank you for pointing that out. Now I can correct it. Yeah, so, it's, constru yeah. it's called constructive criticism at the end of the day, yeah. isn't it, really? If you can't take yeah. the criticism, then, you know, get out of the party as far as I'm concerned. Have we still got Marcus in? We have. So, Kenny, yeah. we're going to say goodbye, darling. Thank okay, you so thanks much. Thanks for joining on, coming on. It's really appreciated. It's always good would, to see you. If it's all right with you, I would. I think me and CJ would love to come on your show one day. And we'll have, cool. like, oh, you choose the topic and we'll be there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Right. I'll put that up. I'll, yeah. I'll figure it out a, a couple of dates and I'll send you the dates and yeah. work yeah. out the time difference. Because yeah. my yeah. my show starts two uh, o'clock in the morning. Five, five five hours. Hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's five hours from now. That's yeah. when my show starts. So you guys would have to be up really, really late. <laughs> yeah. But that's all right. Good night. I'll do it. Be quite I'll honest. do it. Yeah, got a problem. Awesome. All right. All right see cool. you later, darling. I'll, all right, thank you, Bye -bye. Kenny. Bye. Bye. Right, let's get Marcus on. So, Marcus, in three, two, one. Hey, Marcus, how are you? Yeah, Hi, Marcus. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. What do you think about what we've been talking about this evening? You got any sort of. Uh, Anything you want to say about it? Or is there anything else that's boiling your piss today? Well, I think you know full well that I've been at the heart of quite a lot of abuse this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I've got to be yes. careful with what I say. Obviously, police yes. yes. are involved heavily. Mm -hmm. um, it's tricky because, obviously, I don't really know where to start. Or what to say? Because like I said, I've got to be careful. Yeah. Um, I'm debating whether or not to say the name of the company that I'm currently. I probably in. wouldn't. Yeah. I, I I wouldn't right now, but I know that you've been going through a bit of a tough time with um, online bullying, shall we say? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's one word for it. I would I would describe it as that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I think it's disgusting that the way you know. The paranormal field has turned over the course mm. of the last 12 months. Um, yeah, like I, said, I don't. Uh, how, how long, Marcus, have you been in the paranormal? So I started my company in December of last year, so December the 5th, 2020. Right. And from the get go, I've been subject to abuse from one company in particular. Ah, uh, right. Um, so 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 just for people to have an idea, it's a company against the company type type of thing. Yeah, so we, we are kind of different. I mean, he mm -hmm. this company is an events company. They take customers, and I'm a broadcasting company, so we broadcast all of our uh, events online. Mm. And I think that's probably what's pissing him off is that we're doing it differently to him, but he's adamant that we're the same, but we're not at all. Mm. Um. <sighs> I'm not good with talking publicly. Because yeah. oh. usually I'm getting a load of abuse, so it's nice to sit down and not get, you know, called a paedophile halfway through a broadcast. Ah, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that was we, shocking. We, we, yeah, we yeah. wouldn't, on this show, we wouldn't tolerate yeah. anything like that. In fact, they'll get me screaming down the picture rightfully now. 
Yeah, we won't have any of that. that. We won't have well, that. At least that's something, I suppose. But um, yeah, I just think it's it's disgusting how you know people can call each other that when they're all trying to achieve the same thing as capture the paranormal. Yeah. Yeah. And, like I know we're all in competition because we're trying to be the best, but we're all trying to get the same thing as well. So why can't we all work together in some sort yeah. of way? Yeah, exactly. But, is um, it? Is it is it Marcus that you know just so we can just get our head around a little bit? Yeah. It, it, did this is this come from a falling out or uh, how is how have you got in to this, this point, to, or yeah. to, to this point? So when I started the company, um, the person who I'm in conflict with, the co-owner who is the co-owner now, jumped ship and joined my company. Ah. Right. And then they went back to the company they're with now, and it's just stemmed from that, and it's been continuous. It went quiet for about two months, and then at right. the end, it just literally it, it blew up badly. The worst it's right. been. And yeah, the things I've been subject to, I, I'm not innocent in all of it yet. I, you know, I've said some stuff that I probably shouldn't have said, but the things that I've said are facts. What they've said is disgusting accusations, which can damage someone's reputation, and it could. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like on many things, but you know, a paedophile certainly isn't one of them. I mean, the beard yeah. look a bit odd, but I'm definitely not a paedophile. Yeah. It, <laughs> it, it's not acceptable to be called that in in any, um, whether it be in writing on Facebook or anything. But that is the dangers of having social media these days. People yeah. feel that they can get behind a keyboard and say, and I go right the way back to the beginning of the show when I turn around and said it is so easy. To tap things down and like what uh steve uh, earlier on said mm. once it's there it's there and it's hard to get shot off i mean i've been called all sorts to be quite honest homophobic which makes me absolutely laugh but uh you know all sorts of things never as bad as what what that is but at the end of the day people shouldn't be saying it it's absolutely slanderous it's it's not right and it's mm. wrong and they shouldn't say it not unless they've got actual proof that that is the case and, that's and if, that is, if that is it then go to there the police there isn't any yeah. there's, there's, there's no proof that claim. there's nothing no. yeah. but that means so it, it was vindictiveness that it's been yeah. done out of and this is what is wrong but this is what the paranormal is starting to get like yeah people yeah. are getting vindictive they are getting nasty uh, I lost my temper not so long ago with an individual that was going on to me left, right and centre and it got me to the stage where I was this far from taking a journey uh, and actually going out and seeing it because it was getting too much. Luckily, mm. he had also decided and gone, God bless him, he's getting on with this thing now, I get on with mine. I don't hold any uh, any further grudge. Mm. But I know how it can affect you, and I know how it can affect your family as well. And it's wrong. People shouldn't yeah, be able and, to do this. And to be honest, also, when you're having all this verbal abuse thrown at you constantly, um, it's very hard not to react, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I've done it in the past. Yeah, of course. We all want to fight our own corner because we kind of feel like we're the only ones going through it. And what I love about this show is you'll, you'll, you'll soon realise from this show you're not the only one going through it. So I know um, from watching some of these um, particular lives myself um, that you've also been taking the mickey out of for how you look. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I obviously wear glasses um, and I've got cataracts in my right eye. And I've got glasses for that, um, yeah. horrendously, like for my looks and my appearance. Mm. And, yeah. you know, and, the, and the thing is, with that company, they say they're in association with a mental health charity, which I think is fantastically a joke mm. because of what he's been saying the past three or four days. How can he yeah. be a doctor for mental health and then rip the shit out of people for the way they look? Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. not just you either, is it? You've got. Um, there's a colleague of yours as well, isn't there? And uh, set similar things have been said about your colleague. So yeah, he was called a paedophile. Um, something about because he had long hair, something out of the Goonies. Um, yeah. and, and we laughed it off, but you know that's going to sit in the back of his head, and he's going to think, "Am I really that?" Yeah, bad? of course. And also, where yeah. we're on camera a lot, that that could affect us coming on camera because we're worried about how people are going to look at us. Hey, listen, Marcus, let me make it very absolutely clear, right? It doesn't matter what people look like. It's what's in their heart that counts. Yeah. And if yeah. you're a good man inside, then that good show. man 
will show out never yeah. matter what anybody ever says don't let anybody put you down don't let anybody call you down fight that corner and that's what i'd say it's yeah. all about what's inside not on the outside mate i really appreciate that thank you Thanks yeah, and, and if I could give anybody any advice, if they're in a similar situation to Marcus, this, I, I would say, literally, don't backbite it. Let these people no. say what they've got to say and keep it as evidence and proof. Um, yeah. Because yeah. when you backbite, you, you're angry and you're upset and then you tend to say things and then it, it just doesn't really help your case, especially if you want to go to the police. If if uh, if you're doing that, then you just cut all communication but keep anything that these other people will be saying yeah. about you. Keep keep it all. Keep it all on file. Yeah. And that's the best advice you could be given because a while, a long, long, long time ago, I was being uh, – it, it was terrible what I went through, but you keep everything, all the screenshots, everything, and you compile it, and then you go to the police. Now the police do have authority and uh, laws that they can act upon, and I think it's called the mis uh, mis something Communications Act, Malicious mm -hmm. Communications Act, yeah. and they will, and they have to. They have to take it on board and investigate, yeah. but they need you and they would advise you to screenshot everything, absolutely yeah. everything, and then present it to them and then they will take it and, and deal with it. I got a successful court case done out of it, to be quite honest, and yeah. got proven totally innocent of what, what people were saying. It was yeah. bang out of order, bang out of order, and it can be done. It can be done. Yeah, yeah so that's absolutely. what I'm worried about because obviously now that I've come on here, he will undoubtedly see this and he will go live this evening on his page and again he will rip the absolute shit out of the company and you know mock me and say that I'm a liar and all of this and all that. But the thing that I've got against him is I've got so much evidence. It is yeah. the amount of stuff I've got on him is ridiculous. And I've only told him a glimpse of what I've got, he doesn't understand. I could take right. the company down by midnight tonight. But I'm not going I'll let the police deal with it. I'll be yes. yeah. That, that's yeah. the best option and not only that if, if he if whoever it is does that then just just screen record it oh, that yeah. is factual evidence and yeah. then there and then boom they'll order facebook to deal with it as well yeah absolutely right don't, Marcus. Don't, 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 don't let anybody no. put you down mark oh, no I I'll keep fighting. It was lovely for you to come on this evening, Marcus. I hope that's made you feel slightly better. And if you get yeah. down again, come back to the video and have a look at all these wonderful comments. Yeah. Because um, that will pick you right back up again. All right, my darling? I'll have a look. Thank you to everyone as well as commented. Thank you. Oh, no, you're okay, welcome. see you soon. Thank you, Marcus. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, well, bless it. I just hate it when that happens. You know, I understand that you want to then retaliate, especially if you're. I know that Marcus's um, business is relatively new to the field, being yeah. uh, dark supernatural. Um, and, and I know it's horrible. It really is horrible. And you do want to stick up for yourself. We've been there, have we not? CJ? Yeah, 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 yeah. Millions yeah. of times, just like everyone else in the chat room. But we know from experience and not age. No, yeah. it's not age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that when you backbite, it doesn't get you anywhere. It really doesn't. And Kelly, how many more Marcuses are there out there? Oh, well, we've had quite a few people say. Yeah. I think yeah. Emma, bless her. Where is she? Let Emma, me get her Emma. comment back up. Um, I can't find her comment now. We are a little bit over time, guys, but if you want to stick with it, we'll stick with it for a little so while. Emma longer. Bailey says, My yeah. team is new to the paranormal world, and we have considered throwing in the town numerous times of how horrible it is. It's not a nice place to be. No, it's not, Emma, but you yeah. learn what yeah. to avoid. You really but do. Em but, Emma, let me let me just address that with you, what you've said, right? You you know don't look at the paranormal as that big horrible picture because yeah. there are teams out there that don't interact on social social media my team they, doesn't. my team doesn't <laughs> you know we act we my other team we do that i lead but my personal team don't interact on social media and mm -hmm. i know loads of other investigators who mm -hmm. don't interact on social media they still go ahead oh god he's back um <laughs> they, they still go ahead they still do they still investigate but
but they steer yeah. well clear. What they do do is get a little website. They put up a website and they they'll go and join um, society like uh, the Ghost Club or mm -hmm. ASAP or um, uh, the, or SPR or whatever. Uh, they're off social media. Don't be disheartened by it. Keep 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 the faith. It, you know, yeah. we need teams in the paranormal, don't get me wrong. But what we are, uh, are really talking about is that shady bit of the mm -hmm. paranormal, which it's, it's that grayish area. I've often described the paranormal like uh, a, a, a Western. It's, it's lawless. There's a yeah. lot of Indians out there and there's a lot of bandits and there yeah. isn't too many sheriffs. And you know, I, that's the girl's honest truth. Yeah, Steve, you're back. I've got, you know, I'm sitting and I was someone and see the guy, Callum, his name was. Yeah, the, 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 honestly, I've, I've got to say, CJ, your comment if you don't like it, fuck off is awesome. <laughs> see if you can remember way back to when I was first ever on evidence. I actually yes. come on to defend and disagree. Yes. With. So it's easy for them to turn around and say that you're about drama and you're all, that's bullshit. And I'm the proof for that. Yes, yeah, we've become yeah. friends since then, but when I first came on here, I came on to disagree with the, the things you were saying. Yeah. And you let me yeah. and you let me make yeah. my valid point across and then they judge me. So for yeah. them to turn around and say that about you is just fucking awesome. I mean, to be quite honest with you, Steve, people can say whatever they want to call me. People that know me well know that, you know, I'm the type of person, you know, that basically I just get on with it, It'll go over the edge. It can hurt at times. Yeah. However, it's when they bump into me is the problem, when that starts, because then I get, because everything floods back. Yeah, and I, I just blank. Just... And I think, right, you bastards, you've got to say that behind a keyboard, mm -hmm. come and say it to the face. And let's see what happens, because I'm not frightened to confront people. I've had to confront people in the paranormal in the past. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you know, some people need confronting and they need to, you need to go up to them. You need to say, look, you know, you may think you're a baddie, but there are other people out there that may not look much, but they can fucking well handle themselves. And people need to learn this. And this is what worries me it about with this powder punch, that there are a lot of people like me, like you, like um, like everyone, like Poro Marcus that are going out there. You push that guy too far, he'll probably kick off. This is what the paranormal is coming to. It's coming to a boiling point, and before long, it's going to boil over, and somebody's yeah. going to get hurt, and that worries me. I've got to say as well, when it comes to Marcus, um, see, listening to what he went through as well, that's horrible. And you know what? Much love and respect to the guy because he's still fighting and he's still going. So, maximum mm -hmm. respect there. Yeah, um, absolutely. But you know, well. I mean, the, 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 the kind of point that I, I was kind of getting there as well is see, like. People will brand you guys, and this is something else that boils my piss. I'm still in your frat shoes again. You get branded a drama channel, and you're really not. Because you, you, you let everybody's opinion, you listen to everybody's opinion, and, and seeing unless there's actual physical evidence, you'll not say anything about it. So they, if they're stupid, it goes back to my valid point, my, my point earlier, which I do believe valid. See, if you're going to put something on social media, you're going to get called out in the bullshit, and you guys do it. So it's. Yeah. It's no different to watching the news. If you if you're a big business and you're going to go and do something, the news is going to report on it if uh, if it's good or if it's bad. And we're we're no different, you know. Well, that's that's the whole I... point of dead ends. Me me and CJ did when just so people know if you're new to the page. Mm -hmm. um, me and CJ actually spent a good sort of week and a bit discussing uh, yeah. how we were going to go forward with the show, what we were going to call it, how we wanted it to run. Um, we had a couple of differences of opinions, but we mm. came to sort of a narrative that we could both agree on. And this page was never going to be let's let's interview Steve, for example, Dally about Steve's life. It's, it was never going to be that type of page. Yeah. It's about talking about the things in the paranormal field that boil people's piss. Because there's not enough of it out there where you have a mm. safe space to go and be able to, to say what it is that you need to say, surrounded by a group of like-minded people. So when Steve came onto our show and had a difference of opinion, we treated Steve with respect. We've had John yeah. Harris on. We've treated John Harris with respect. We've had John Tanner on. I that hate the guy, but no. we treated him with absolute we, respect. Yeah. 
No. Right. I believe it's... me, I have to bite my tongue through that one big time. Absolutely. So we are two very respectful people. This absolutely isn't a drama page. I think people sometimes need to go and have a look at the word drama. Um, what we are is a debate channel that debates things that are going in the pa going on in the paranormal field um, that boils our bloody piss. If our dead enders don't find the topic yeah. interesting, our dead enders won't watch us. That's fine. Nope. Got no problem. And they, and, and they won't. They won't interact with us. No, either. they won't. But it, no. it goes back to what Steve said about that guy uh, that came on and said that. I would have had more respect for him if he had come on. So then said, mm -hmm. but you know, you're part of a drama, and had that debate had that little chat because then they said well what part of the drama i it, it would have been a two-way conversation but he didn't okay. come on hit in there and run as far as i'm concerned you know that that's just people coming in from other pages that are just trying their luck because they okay. want to impress their heroes if that's for want of a better word and it's, it is about hero worship in, with, with some of these people, to be quite honest. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm just gone on and I've just said this in that. Yeah, you said that, but then you've run. Mm. Well, if, I mean, if you remember back to like when I first came on, it was to do with if it came from the the, the troll kind of outage campaign. And mm -hmm. I didn't, I mean, I, I would I didn't at that point know what Dead Ends was. And I watched your show and I quite enjoyed it. And I decided that I'm not really good at public speaking. I'm usually. I don't know if you've noticed, I'm quite a, uh, I'll stay respectful, but I'm quite kind of like, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll say my piece and I'll, I'll rant and I'll rave and, yeah. you know, I mean, I, just, I read some of the comments back and it seemed to be my, my rant since people quite enjoyed it, so, um, but, I mean, I, you didn't have to let me on, I openly said to you at the start mm -hmm. where I was friends with other people and you told me, yep. you know, come on and have your say, and I mean, yeah. see, since then, I mean, I've liked to, CJ, you and me have had conversations where you became friends. Yeah. Kelly, yeah. you and me have had a lot of conversations. We became good friends, you know. I mean, it's, oh, I love you. Yeah. A, I mean, I, 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 to me, I come on. I mean, I, I come on as to be respectful at that point. And, you know, you guys yeah. don't get enough credit for what you do because you guys are. I mean, I would say you're very respectful, um, and you do a good. Well, job, so it's a good we, podcast. We, we try to be, and you know, this is where we say to people, don't be frightened to come on to dead ends because you're not going to get. Even if we've got personal issues, like, let's use Tanner for argument's sake. I hate him. He hates me. We, there's bad blood between us because I have dealt with this individual before. But he came on and I had to sit there in that very little corner with him sat there smirking as he does, you know, mm. his little curling up of his lip because he was thinking he was getting a better one as such. But I showed respect. Mm. In fact, I showed the respect enough to say to him, if you want, because I know I've got his dog, you see. And I said, you know, I'll, I'll send you a few pictures yeah, of the dogs did. for a few yeah. things. And that's what I did. Nothing come back. But I, I showed respect. Mm -hmm. There wasn't the nastiness on the show. Afterwards, I couldn't give a toss about the bloke, mm -hmm. to yeah. be quite honest, because the it's show done. was over. But you're, it, it, you know, here, you're out. There are people out there. And at the end of the day, it's our dead ends. It's respect for our dead enders. It's their yeah. show. They're the ones that guide us. They're the ones that tell us what to do. So at the end of the All day... All you've got you to know, do is look back them. at that same... The first night I was on it as well, um, your moderator even came on. I can't remember what moderator it was, but one of the mods came on and they openly said that the comment that they put up was them. And, you know, there's no hiding. If you do something wrong, she openly came out and yeah. said, I did this. And, and you know what? I mean, it's... That guy, I mean, see that guy, Callum, come on, that was just fucking nonsense, you know what I mean? But that's, you you shouldn't, That that's, I'm sitting, I was sitting stewing at that point, I'm like, but see when you said you don't like it, fuck off, I'm like, yes, go on. <laughs> but at the same at the time, end of the day, day, I am, I don't mean to offend people, but I think most of our dead enders know exactly, no, and they know what I'm like from old, and they know I'll say it as I say it, and I don't care if it's warranted. You know, if it is wanted, that was wanted. If you didn't like it, just go away. Why come in? And Absolutely. Do it. I and he hasn't have, commented. Have, hasn't yeah, commented but, since. So, but it, I would it, love him to come reason. in. I would love yeah. him to come in. I'd love him to be in our box. I'd love him to explain why do you think we're a drama channel? Is it yeah. because? You think you're because you're friends with the people or or, or whatever? I want to know what it was about. You know. 
But you don't get that option. You just get a hit and run. I mean, I shouldn't have told the fuck off. But there again, at the end of the day, you get frustrated. Yes, the fuck off, you have great rapists, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> because he never came back. No. He came no. in, said one comment, and then did what you told him to do. Bye, Felicia. Not bothered. But they'll probably they'll probably come in once the show is done. Oh right, yeah, so we'll have loads. You, you, you will have loads coming in there, but that's where we right. got good mods and ourselves monitoring. Anyway, I have got Jake who wants to come on quickly, so uh, we're going to give Jake ten minutes, and then we are going to end the show. Thanks yeah, ever sorry so much. Sorry for jumping back on, by the way. I just wanted to make that valid point that you're on no other drama. No, channel. thank you for it. Oh. Yeah, thank you for it. Bye. Thank you, Steve. Bye. See you later, Thanks, darling. Steve. Bye. Bye. Okay, so Jake then. Three, two, one. Hi, Jake. How are Hi, you? Hi, guys. How are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah fine, really fine. well. You're from Dark Supernatural too, aren't you? So you That's are Marcus's correct. friends. I am. Um, so a little bit kind of unrelated to it, but as a lot of people have said, one thing that really annoys me is the mutual respect for the thing that we're in. So we're all in for the love of paranormal. I've seen yeah. a lot of stuff on you know a multitude of groups about people who just can't get on with each other yeah. the question i ask is why instead of yeah okay you know we're perfectly fine to have our opinions we're perfectly fine to discuss whatever we want to discuss but why do people have to be ridiculed for your opinion if you take a picture yeah. of something for example and you believe it to be what it is then in your opinion that's what it is if somebody has uh, an altering opinion yeah that's perfectly fine but yeah. why do we then have to start a war? Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, totally agree. Totally agree. What totally has ever agree. come from a world war? Absolutely nothing. But more pain and suffering in the end of the day. Yeah. That's, um, that, that, that's all it does break, doesn't it? It's pain and suffering. Exactly. And I mean, I have been in the paranormal field uh, much less time than Marcus and everybody else. And I just get really upset when I see something that I've become passionate about. I've only ever been on one investigation um, or one event, should I say, uh, to the ancient Ramin, which was absolutely fantastic. And it really saddens me to have so many people who share these similar experiences and they're going in and they're, you know, smoking inside the property, littering inside the property, throwing things all over the place. In the end of the day, as I said, I put up a comment earlier, how would you like it if somebody started coming into your home and throwing cigarettes on the floor yeah. and throwing, you know, your rubbish bin all over the place? In the end of the day, we are guests in that place. We should be honoured because they have invited us to come to essentially wherever, you know, their house, their their event. Mm -hmm. Why should we then go and destroy that? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Couldn't agree anymore. So, I mean... It's difficult. As I said, I don't really have much experience in the paranormal, so I'm going to make mistakes. I haven't yeah. done a lot. Um, but... But, 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 Jake, you're expected to make mistakes. That's yeah. the thing. It's okay to make mistakes. Thank I've been Marcus. doing it for years. And I would say to anybody, make as many mistakes. But I always go back to what I always originally say. Mm. Find somebody that has been in the field for a long, long time, proven track record, and suck them dry of their knowledge. They are willing. There is a lot of people out there that are willing to share their knowledge on the paranormal. And not professionalism, but their knowledge. Yeah. You know, and that's what I did when I started. And mm -hmm. luckily enough, you know, the people that I spoke to guide me the right way. And mm -hmm. I'm glad of that. But, you know, you know, make mistakes. You, you've got to you've make got mistakes. To. Yeah. How, how do you learn? If but you fall down, you, make you, mistakes, you can't up. learn. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But you don't have to hold that person accountable uh, for making their mistakes. It was a mistake. Yeah. And if you're quick enough to say, oh, shit, I've made a mistake, yeah, damn, you know, that's fine. That's that. Yeah. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. But at least you've shown that you you've learned from it, and you don't make it again. What we're seeing now is people making mistakes, and they can they know they're making mistakes. They know they're wrong, but they're still making the same mistakes week yeah. in, week yeah. out, week in, week yeah. out, because they don't care, and that's the issue. Exactly. I mean, people shouldn't ridicule each other for things no. that they found or. 
uh, you know, things that have happened, yeah, by all means, have a discussion about it, have a talk about it. That's how we get by as humans. If we don't ever have a talk about anything, nothing is ever, ever going to get solved. That's why they have yeah. things like marriage counseling and all the rest of it. If something's yeah. going wrong, talk. Yeah. Like anybody who's ever going through a hard time, and I mean this to everybody that's watching now, if anyone's going through a hard time, talk about it. I've been through, uh, you know, I've been through bullying. I've been through depression. I've been through suicide. I've been through absolutely everything that you could put under that banner. I've been through some truly tough times. And the only thing that has ever helped mm. is to be able to talk to someone about it. Yeah, um, absolutely. And it's the same in the paranormal field. You know, it's not exactly on the same severity, but mm -hmm. if you don't talk to someone, it's not going to get solved. It's not. No, and no, it's going to exactly. linger in the back of your mind, and that's all, all that's going to happen. The problem is it's hard to talk to some people. Um, I, th th there are people out there that I'd love to have a sit-down mm. conversation face-to-face -face with, a real debate, a real discussion. Yeah. But it would never, ever happen. Even people that feel that I don't like them. But I, it's not that I don't like them. I, I'm just not interested in them. There's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Not interested in what they're doing, but I'd like to have a face-to-face -face with them. Yeah. Um, and I, I'd like to sit down and talk to them. There's some elements of what they do I do like. There's a lot of elements that I don't like. But I'd like to be able to sit down and talk to somebody face-to-face -face and yeah. have that discussion. And then get them at the end of the day, shake hands and say, do you know what? Now you've earned my respect. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's where the respect comes from. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people are going to respect you more if you just have a conversation. You discuss yeah. what opinions that you have and you don't slant someone off. But if you want to be criticizing and you want to talk to them about mistakes that they've made or maybe something that isn't your opinion, that's totally fine. Because in the end yeah. of the day, everybody is valid and everybody is able to have an opinion. Whether or not it's yeah. the right one, that's for you to decide. But it's not for you to then ridicule somebody else who may have a differing opinion. Yeah. Yeah, and um, Sam, Sam, that's absolutely correct. What you just posted. Yeah. Uh, what did you put? Be kind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Be kind. You know, be happy and just look after one another. Because in the end of the day, we all do this for the love of it. We all do it for the passion. And if you're not doing it for that, and you're doing it for stars, or you're doing it for you know, mm. likes and whatever. I'm a streamer, so I do, as you can probably guess, a lot of gaming behind me. Yeah. Um, so I don't necessarily do that because I'm like, oh, I want to make money out of it. I do it because I want to talk to people. And it's the same with, you know, the supernatural. I didn't have much of an interest of it. I went to this event, the Ancient Ramen, absolutely fantastic, really, yeah. really enjoyed it. It's got some really, really amazing footage that I'll send in to you guys if you haven't seen it already with floorboard shaking and all sorts. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous, so really good. It is um, and, you know, that was my my first ever proper, proper opinion. But I can't wait to go further out into the field. Yeah. yeah. But that's the thing that worries me is that if I sometimes, you know, I'm going to make mistakes, as I said earlier, if I take a picture and I'm like, oh, you know, that's not a ghost, that's a gravestone. OK, that's fine. But to me, you know, that looks like maybe exposure or something. But. You know, that's okay. Yeah, it's at so the right end of the day, disagree. it is yeah. what it is. Like, if you can debunk it, that's perfectly fine. If you can't debunk it, then that's for other people to make the opinion of. Yeah. You know, well, look, just yeah. keep that happy going attitude, Jake. Yeah. Don't ever change. You're new to the paranormal field. I, I apologize on uh, on behalf of everyone, and I know they're all out there probably going, "Oh my God, Jake, you're new. I'm so sorry you're coming into this bullshit." <laughs> but you know what? This bullshit was around 17 years ago. It's just social media is wrapped oh, up. So was bullying. So was Kelly, yeah. Kelly, you know. Kelly J just let you know right out uh, right above my house is a police helicopter with their bloody light <laughs> shining down. So whoever has sent them in, can't go away. I'll deal with so them. I, I'll, uh, I'll escape. I think they're after me. Yeah. I think <laughs> I tell you what, I've got exactly the same. I don't know if you can hear it through my mic. I yeah, can hear it, yeah. 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 yeah I've got it. Yeah, they're right over my yeah, house. Quite, yeah, yeah. So, they're coming uh, to get you. They're coming to get <laughs> yeah, you and me. See? No they're famous. Well, I didn't get a bloody letter about it first. That's <laughs> annoying. Right, Jake, thanks ever so much for coming on, my darling. Look forward to seeing what you guys have got coming up. Um, everybody in the chat room, bloody amazing. Thank you so much uh, yeah. for joining us this evening. Um, yeah. yeah, Louise French can hear it. Oh, Louise, I do still have my hair. I've been working today and I 
to be fair, mate, I really couldn't be asked. Oh, so. let's not start it's, on about the hair again today. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so thanks ever so much, guys, uh, for bearing with us. It went uh, from about 150 down to, to 89 now. So, guys, you have been absolutely bloody amazing. We really hope we've um, given you... Uh, a dedicated platform that yeah. any of you are welcome to come on yeah. at any time um send us messages if there's anything you want us to discuss in the future and uh yeah cj over to you well it, 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 i can't really add much more than that and just say that um you know thank you for the comments that have come in um yeah apology for a little bit of language uh let's get that out there i am who i am and i don't give a shit <laughs> yeah. so you know people should know about it um if you liked what we'd like then please share and yeah. uh, and like or join the the group if you've got a, a topic you want us to discuss be it what me just give us a drop us a message either carry or myself i think it's carry that picks up the messages more than yeah. i do to be quite you'll honest. know if it's me because i put a kiss on the end if there's no yeah, kiss I it's don't me, do kisses. <laughs> i'll just give, give the x factor um yeah, yeah but thank you so much and sticking with us an extra half hour really yeah, to be quite honest oh, yeah. and again thanks to our mods um yes. who have been in as well tonight and i i just want to say thank you to kenny because believe it or not kenny biddle is is really really big in the states with his talk show and i would recommend that you actually uh, listen to a skeptical um health bar health bar oh. i think uh and it's it it's really skeptical really bar. interesting mm. yeah skeptical bar yeah it, it is drink. really really good yeah so yeah, at two o'clock in uk time me and cj will have to drink something and then go oh, to work or... you drink there <laughs> i'll, get, I'll give yeah. him a run for his money but thank um, you for joining us yeah andrea pate um i hope i've pronounced that correctly how do i get a t-shirt love if you just pop on to the dead ends facebook page just keep scrolling down uh, the link to getting any t-shirts is there if it doesn't yeah. suit your fancy give me a shout tell me what you want on it i do i can personalize it for you and we'll get that sorted and anyway please thanks, remember guys. we don't charge we don't oh we don't anything. charge yeah no, no we you don't just charge. pay it to the company that's yeah, it company. i'll send you, you an email and a screenshot of paypal so you can see anyway thanks ever so much guys uh, thank you guys appreciate it love you keep following us keep telling us yep. whether we're doing the right thing or the wrong thing it's not going to work without you guys take care bye guys